Uh, Aunt Sally and I were asked to, by American Airlines to help fly the plane from Charlotte to London's Heathrow Airport on our trip to Africa last month. We arrived in Heathrow, uh, an amazing complex, and it took us uh, about an hour and a half to get from Terminal 3 to Terminal 5. And although the way was very well marked and the signs were in English, the crowd was very large waiting for the bus. Uh, but we finally climbed on the bus and made it uh, to our next connection from Heathrow to Johannesburg, a 12-hour flight uh, over the continent of Africa. Uncle Mac and Aunt Sally enjoyed business class where they could uh, stretch out and catch a little sleep before we arrived in Johannesburg and then on to Polakawani. And from there we were met by our professional hunters and taken to Chaturanga Safaris, the very northeast part of uh, South Africa next to Zimbabwe. Our accommodations were really very nice. We had uh, little rendezvous that had uh, indoor plumbing and comfortable beds. The dining room doubled as a trophy room with uh, all kinds of great trophies on the walls. And we had lovely uh, dinner service uh, with uh, uh, good breakfast and a lunch and dinner uh, all throughout the stay. Then it was on to the archery range where we made sure that our bows were tuned up properly and here Aunt Sally showing good form as she's got a straight line from her arrow to her elbow uh, and then this uh, showing that she's got her bow dialed in as she hits the target. Perfect. Good. So great. And then we were out into the thorn veld. Uh, this uh, low scrub brush uh, which was, has remarkable uh, diversity of wildlife uh, and here you can see Aunt Lisa by the baobab tree called the devil's tree because it's felt the roots are up in the air and the leaves are underground for the devil. We hunted out of uh, elevated blinds at water holes almost all the time. And from these elevated blinds, we saw a variety of uh, wildlife, uh, including giraffes. And here you can see in this uh, video that the giraffes had really a very stately walk and uh, a very haughty appearance, even though they only ate acacia leaves uh, at the top of the uh, thorned acacia tree. But the thorns didn't seem to bother the giraffes, and they uh, munched away happily as we watched them from the ground blind. Uh, we also saw uh, a bunch of gemsbucks come in. Uh, here you can see the gemsbucks with their uh, calves. Uh, these were female gemsbucks and not to be shot at. And we uh, had the opportunity to see uh, vervet monkeys. This monkey here in the tree seems to enjoy looking at us uh, as much as we uh, enjoyed looking at him. Uh, so uh, uh, he was uh, uh, an entertaining character. Uh, the wildebeests uh, also came into the water hole, as uh, you can see here. They, they didn't seem to have any trouble negotiating the, uh, the trough and uh, uh, getting a little water and, uh, here at the feeding station. Uh, we had a nice bull that came in with this group and our professional hunter encouraged us to take a shot, but uh, we really weren't interested in getting another wildebeest, so we let that go. Uh, here's the bull wildebeest with a great set of uh, horns. Sally had made a nice shot on the sable antelope you'll see here. Great shot right in the boiler room and uh, she recovered this beautiful sable, uh, as you can see here, and Uncle Mac uh, recovered a beautiful sable also, uh, as you can see here, and uh, 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 he really uh, uh, have his and her trophies. Watch this shot on the kudu that Sally makes. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, really right on the dime. But in spite of a great shot, uh, we were unable to recover this kudu and went on a wild goose chase. Here, the professional hunter trying to take a shot at it as it crosses the road. I was lucky enough to get a nice sable antelope myself on the fourth day, uh, as seen here with Aunt Lisa. And then you can see that we had some elands come in in the afternoon. And this is the trophy that I really wanted was the uh, eland. And I was lucky enough to get this nice bull, about 1,500 pounds, uh, with a 650-grain arrow. On the last day, uh, Uncle Mac uh, got a nice kudu of his own. You can see the shot there, again, right in the bread basket. And he recovered a beautiful trophy uh, at the last minute on the last day. And I've 